The deteriorating effects of respiratory motion artifacts and PET-CT imaging have long been well recognized. Optimal respiratory gating is a method used to correct PET-CT images for these motion artifacts. Maintaining a sufficient image quality is problematic for most respiratory gating algorithms. The optimal respiratory gating algorithm allows the user to maintain and define a sufficient image quality. Respiratory motion artifacts can significantly influence image quality and quantitative accuracy. Therefore, removal of these artifacts from PET images is important to improve diagnostic accuracy and the ability to monitor treatment responses. Demonstrating the procedure will be Yuri Young, a senior technologist at the Department of Radiology and Nuclear Medicine. Prior to administration of the radio tracer, it is important to measure the patient's blood glucose. After explaining the preparation and imaging procedures to the patient, insert a peripheral venous cannula into one of the antecubital veins of the patient and attach a three-way stopcock system with a lure lock to a 20 milliliter syringe of saline. De-aerate the stopcock with saline and attach the stopcock to the venous cannula. Check the patency of the cannula with 10 milliliters of saline and attach the syringe with the radio tracer to the three-way stopcock. Then turn the valves of the three-way stopcock such that the direction of the fluid will flow from the syringe containing the radio tracer to the peripheral venous cannula. The syringe has been placed in a special tungsten shielded container.